Hi students, in this video, we will see that type two t-test, students t-test type two. Type two, it is a simple test. It is a one-sided test only, okay? Uh, see here, this is the problem. In this video, this in this slide, here you can see this is a slide. In this slide, we have shown one pharmaceutical example. The entire this slide is a question only, <laughs> no answer, okay? Answer is uh, you have to do in uh, three steps, okay? See, question itself is very big. See, that is a statistics. BP results of a new antihypertensive drug. See, this is the new antihypertensive drug which are developed by a company. Again, as to that, 10 animals are given. So this antihypertensive drugs, they tested in the 10 animals. Okay, 10 animals like this. See how to check the BP in the animal. See here, like that. You know how to see this and all, okay? 10 animals are, this is the animal one, animal two, animal three, animal four, BP results of the 10 animals. These are the thing. What they are actually expecting, BP should be greater than 15 mm of HG that they are expecting. And really what they got is here. This is the what they got real in 10 animals. What they are expecting is 15. That is, we are saying it as a population. Now we have to compare, and standard deviation is they given for population standard deviation, they given as a 3.89. Okay, that is also given value. Now you have to compare this one at alpha factor 10 percentage. In decimal, it is a 0 0.10. Okay, this is also the given at which fa factor you have to compare. Now, either the 10 animals BP, either they reached their expectations or not, greater than 15 or not. See, some are greater than 15. Some are less than 15. See, 18 is there, 20 is there. Some are more than the, what they are expecting, 15. Some are less. So total overall, what we have to say now? That is the problem. Three steps. Step one, first you have to consider the null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis. Step two, calculate the T-value from data and compare the T-value with the standard table. And step three, conclusion accept or reject the null hypothesis. Step one, first step. See null hypothesis, no difference between their expected BP 15 and samples BP average of the sample BP is 15. So expected BP exactly equal to the sample BP. Whereas alternative hypothesis, there is a difference between the expected BP that is greater than 15 and sample BP. Expected BP is not equal to sample BP like that. First of all, I have to consider. Next, I have to follow the formula. See, now I have calculated. See, this is a X bar. See, type 1, type 2 comes under population mean mu. We are comparing with the sample mean. That is X bar. Okay. See, X bar is a sample mean. What we got uh, at 15.9 here. You take the average of this. When I take average of this all 10, total sum divided by 10, then I got the value of 15.9, right? That is the sample mean minus mu. Mu already they gave what they are expecting 15. So what is the sample here? Standard deviation, they already given data. See here, standard deviation they gave in the problem itself, 3.89 and 10 factor alpha that we will see. Okay, so I, I got the value 0 0.73 is the obtained value. Sample n is equal to sample size. 10 animals, 10 is the n is equal to 10. Okay, sample size. 0 0.73, I got the t value which is obtained. Now, from the standard table, I will take see degrees of freedom, n minus 1. Okay, n minus 1, n is equal to 10 animals minus 1. 9. See, 9 I underlined. Degrees of freedom over. They gave the factor, alpha level factor, no, that is level of significance. 0 0.10. Especially they mentioned. And we are doing a one-tile test. This is type 2. 
okay so you have to select this one not this one this is two tailed in one tail test 0.10 you compare with the at degrees of freedom you got a 1.383 okay now 1.383 he this is obtained t value now conclusion third the bahubali the conclusion first one is bahubali the beginning number 2 is bahubali the conclusion now you come to the conclusion see here the conclusion since the test value test t value 0.73 is less than the critical t value standard table t value what you got 1.38 the null hypothesis is accepted less okay since it is less then there is no significant difference between the expected bp 15 greater than 15 and sample bp so expected bp is equal to sample bp concluded that's it okay there is no significant difference difference is there little bit significant difference is not there that is the help of the statistics okay we will meet in the type 3 t test okay i will end the session here